Hey everyone, this is Alpaco. I haven't done any camera related videos in quite some time. I'm back because a company reached out to me, Shimbal, and they wanted me to review this monitor. I'm not going to do a full review because I'm actually saving a full review um, with a, another channel. It's a studio that's uh, nearby um, me. Well, about an hour away. Ah, that's little details. Uh, it's a great studio space that I uh, really enjoy working with. And I offered them to do a crossover review with me. And um, they're actually also going to help me review Shimbles of the product, a uh, wireless transmitter, which is, I think, going to be pretty fun. So let's get this started. So, yeah. Right off the bat, really nice sturdy bag. I like that texture. Hmm. It's pretty nice. I like it. Um, you know, I should actually, hold on. I'm going to compare it to the one that I use now, the port keys, which you've seen my review on here for it. And you can see it. I use it very often. It is my go-to. So let's see how that is. Sturdy zipper. I okay. So just little details here. I like a good sturdy zipper because you can always tell when it's a crappy zipper and it's gonna get caught or broken. And this zipper quality is pretty good, actually. You can tell it's not gonna get caught on on its teeth and loose get loose or whatever the proper term would be. It's not going to do that. Ooh, this is a nice monitor, actually. This is solid metal. And that is really nice. Like, you can, I like the cold feel of metal compared to, uh, you know, plastics. Plastics don't give me that confident confidence. And oh. Okay, these buttons feel really, really nice. God, these this is a really This is a really solid monitor, actually. Alright, hold on. Okay. I actually bought this because I liked the compact size of it. And that is, I mean, you can tell the difference. This is very small. This is like basically a cell phone size, actually. Yeah, it's basically cell phone size. But, um, this is clearly plastic. I really didn't mind it. I haven't had any problems with it. And I, I'm rough on all my stuff, so that is just what it is. Now, there are some highlights about this monitor. It does support, it is an HDR monitor. There is a USB port here, SD card slot here, and it is already, um, it's a, it's Kalman Pro color calibrated already. It's, a uh, also a low power consumption, um, monitor. So it probably will last longer than this. This thing actually does not last very long with this battery. Uh, it's a small monitor, so I caught me off guard how long that would get. And this thing gets abnormally hot, I feel like. So, um, I mean, I still like it just because it's lightweight, but it will get hot. I will figure all that stuff out with the full on review of this. The one thing I'm really excited about this monitor is 
it is bright. It's it can get up to 1200 nits. I don't know what this is, but I know it's not 1200 nits. And this is not it. You cannot see this. You can't look through this monitor in the daytime. Um, I have to use this little like it give they give you this little thing for it, and you um, you always have to use it during the daytime. Hmm, yeah, okay. I was not imagining. This does take quite a bit of time to turn on. But, you know, it wasn't that much of a difference, I think. Alright. Let's see what else is in here. Alright, both comes with this. Okay, so admittedly, this one has a cool, a better um, feeling top or this thing adapter also huh yeah oh well they're both pretty good this one's like oh huh. this one has like this really nice like this thing thumb screw thing this one doesn't even have one I like this. It's thicker too. And this one has like a weird, like a nice soft, like, has a nice soft, like finish, matted finish. This one's just like metal. Okay, comes with a USB. This one didn't even have one. I had to buy one. So this one, well, I bought my own. This one's a small rig, which I, I do like a lot. This one comes with a USB, or oh my God, HDMI. This one also comes with, what is this? Oh, comes with, oh wow, mini HDMI to, uh, or micro HDMI, whatever that is, to HDMI, that's cool. What is this? Alright. Oh. Well, that's pretty cool. They give you a dang sun, um, screen protector. I like that. I like screen protectors. I am, again, very rough on my stuff, so. I'm gonna put that on later. Ouchie. I hit the camera. Oh, do you? Uh, I guess that's what this is for. To... Alright. It's pretty cool. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's check this thing out. <clears throat> okay, I just realized something. There's actually even a locking thing here. So you, it doesn't accidentally turn. That is extra points. Or a shimbal. Oops. For here. And you can hear it locking. Hold on. Hear that? That means it's not going to go from side to side very often much. Oh, there you go. Like when you really tighten it. That's pretty cool. Okay, so another thing I like is, so on this one, HDMI in is at the top, so it sits above, a little bit further away. On this, HDMI is on the bottom part. Makes more sense because 
I mean, if you're going to do HDMI out, you know, just makes sense. Oh, that's in focus. Jeez. All right. Let's check this sucker out. Okay. So definitely a little heavier. Okay. So one thing I'm not a fan of, this does not go side to side like this other one does. Yeah, see, this goes side to side, and I like that. This does not, not a fan, not a fan of that. Plus points there. I suppose it's minor. All right, the, the rest of the review itself, the core review that I'm going to have is with the lab. So do I recommend this over this? Depends. If you want something small, this is really the only thing you can get. But for this size and for the price, and that's the part that got me. Both of these items are the same price, basically. Hold on, let me make sure. So this is actually now $100. So it's actually a really cheap monitor. Not bad, though. It's not bad. And this shimble. Shimble M5 is $140. No. Wow. Yeah, this is $140. Bucks. I mean, $40 more. You can get this thing. Get this thing. It has 1,200 nits. Let me see what the poor keys is. Okay. It's 500 nits. This is 500 nits, and this is 1,200 nits. And it's $40 of difference. This is all plastic. This is all metal. I mean, come on, guys. That just makes sense. Now I'm going to set this aside real quick. And... Oh. Huh. This doesn't even have a thing. Oops. Okay. Oh, this is metal too. Oh man. All right. So these are what the the wireless transmitters look like. Is this dragon? It's not a sticker, is it? No. No. Yeah, well, it's cold, so it's all metal. Feels great. Not a big fan of this dragon design, but it is what it is. It's marked here what they are. This is the receiver and this is the transmitter rx tx pretty self-explanatory dang shimble really knows how to make buttons i want them to make a camera just so i can have these buttons okay pretty solid all right so the the cool thing about this thing is i mean it's a wireless transmitter so i don't know how often you're going to need it but if there is a case that you are going to need it, like I'm probably going to need it pretty soon, it's only $90. So even if you don't like the design, stick a sticker or something on it. It's 90 bucks. And they can go up to 600 feet, which I don't think I would ever need to go that far. So yeah, this is going to be something that I'm going to do a bigger review again with the lab. And I'm looking forward to it. So, yeah. Highly recommend. You guys have a great day.